good day, my friends. It's your old pal, Jordan the Lion, and we are coming to you from the Sahara at Las Vegas. Days with Jordan the Lion, it begins right now. So I actually checked in last night, but I'm gonna show you everything the way I saw it when I came in. Some cool historical photos. Right off the elevator, you got this very nice welcome. And I wanted to stay here because I knew the Rat Pack and Liberace and everybody had history here. So look at all these historical photos. As soon as you get off the elevator, I just thought this was awesome. Liberace getting hoisted in on a crane on top of a birthday cake. On his own birthday cake, they were celebrating it here. How awesome is that? Some places go super modern, they get rid of the history. This place is showing all the great history. Abbott and Costello, and these are all like people that either stayed or performed here. How cool is that? Louis Prima. And this is Marlene Dietrich with her cake. This was going back to 1954 when it first opened. It did close for a little while in 2011, but I'm so happy they brought it back. Liza Minnelli. And look at this, Sugar Ray Robinson. How cool is that? And then it just wouldn't be Vegas without a little bit of Elvis. I love it. And over here, Mae West. And I'm not sure who the first guy is here, but it's George Burns, Carol Channing, and Robert Goulet. I think he probably works for the hotel because he's wearing a Sahara George Burns pin. And then here's Flip Wilson, who of course had the Flip Wilson show. What, look who's uh, look who's on the small stage. Don Rickles. <laughs> and then this one is Charo, which Scott Michaels told me he saw Charo recently and said she's still amazing. One of the greatest classical guitar players in the world. And I mentioned the Rat Pack and there's Sammy and Jerry Lewis. Not exactly a Rat Pack photo, but Sammy. And then look at the entry when you first walk in, even before you go to the uh, casino. Just amazing. And then I love this. They have a really cool Scrabble over here on the wall. It really makes you uh, really makes you feel welcome when you come here, honestly. When I, uh, when I walked in, I was like, oh, this place is really nice. I didn't know what to expect. And then I went and checked in. They said, oh, Mr. Lee, we've upgraded your room to a suite. And then over here, they actually have some old menus, which is awesome to see. Really kind of embracing the history of the place. The Congo Room. And this place used to be really uh, well known also for its steakhouse. No longer here. Not the same one, but a really historic steakhouse here. And that menu is for the Caravan Room. Here's one of the bars, but here's the monorail. You can actually take the monorail to different hotels and casinos. And then I love this. Look at the photos here. The Beatles did stay here. They have a plaque outside one of the rooms. Stayed here in 1964, paid $25,000 to perform in Vegas, but they were too big to perform here at the Sahara. But they did stay here during that. And then here's Jim Neighbors and K-Star. And then this epic photo of Clint Eastwood. <laughs> I love it. And take a look in the library over here. They have a great picture. The groundbreaking and everything of the Hotel Sahara. But what I thought was even cooler is Elvis over here signing an autograph with the Sahara in the background. And then look at all the cool like motif stuff, the camels and everything. This is just a lounge area with the Rat Pack. The bar is actually called the Tangier. And look over here. Dean Martin, Frank Sinatra, and Peter Lawford. And then over here, Elizabeth Taylor and Michael Wilding. <laughs> Tony Bennett on a bicycle here in front of the Sahara. That's awesome, 1977. Good hair for 1977, huh? Kinda has the Warren Beatty thing going. And then here, Cary Grant, Grace Kelly, at the Sahara. Sorry, we're getting some weird lighting, so I have to kinda work around that, but yeah, that's awesome. 
I really like looking in the background to see what was performing at the time that they were here, like Donald O'Connor and Sidney Miller. And who was performing when Tony was on the bike? Why, by golly, it was Tony himself. And Joey Heatherton. Then over here at the Bell Services, look at this. It's Jerry Lewis bringing in your luggage. They did such a cool job with all the history and the theming. I just love it. And then there's the check-in lobby. It's just an amazing place. Look at all the mosaics on the floor all over the place. I will show you the front, but I also want to show you the front when it's nighttime. So it's the hair right up there on the side of the building. This is where you uh, valet your car. Right up here you can see the little bridge from the Sahara right over to the monorail which is arriving right now. And we're right across from the West Gate which used to be the International where Elvis performed. So here's the front lobby when you come to check in. And this is where we walked out to look outside. Let's go see if we can find any statues or anything around here. Man, they just did a killer job with all the architecture and decoration and everything. The floors. I'm just like constantly blown away. I love casinos. Look at this mosaic woman in front of the bar. This is amazing. So I've walked through the casino and the, uh, the main front, the picturesque front I guess that I drove past coming in was over here. Oh yeah. So as soon as you drive in, look at that. Beautiful. And then you've got the big, replace the old style signs. You wanna see the old sign? You can go to the Neon Sign Museum Neon Boneyard, they, uh, they will be happy to have it on display. They happily share it, which is so cool, you know? It's like the, uh, the old camel sign. I don't mean the cigarettes, I mean like when they had a camel on the sign. In fact, like two months ago, my last trip to Vegas, I actually was invited there and did film and shared that sign. So, go on to my channel, shameless plug, and look up Neon Boneyard, Neon Sign Boneyard in Las Vegas. Man, they just did it so right here. Everything about the entrance and everything, it just looks so good. And here are your front doors to the entrance. Back in we go. Very nice. Lots of food options. Chickie and Pete's is uh, Surf and Turf. I had the noodle place over here. I had some orange chicken last night. That was pretty good. That was it, noodle den. I think I'll probably try the Italian place today because I wanted to go to the Golden Steer and uh, ask my pal Video Bob feels good. He said, yeah, but you better call because they, they basically lose tables quick. So I called and they were already uh, completely booked up from six to 10. Yeah, here's the place I ordered food from. I also saw a Dean Martin machine in here I wanna play. I think I'm gonna eat here at the uh, Bala, Baya Italian Soul, but they also have a Bizarre Meats here. The Italian place. Doris Day, Sophia Loren up there eating. That crazy fake chandelier above us. <laughs> For the love of Vegas. Whoa. Let's see what they have on their menu, huh? Classic tartare. Caviar cone, cotton candy foie gras, not your everyday caprese salad. Huh. I wouldn't be opposed to it. Katie will be here in a few days. Maybe we'll try it. Let's see if we can find that Dean Martin machine. Look at the floor. I love those gold lacings that go throughout the floor all the way through the casino. I always try and play something that's themed like something I like, so I have one on Kiss Machines. Let's try Dean Martin. As soon as this guy's done working on it. Oh, I found a really good replacement for me. Little Shop of Horrors. Merc Moranis, Mr. Mushnik. Oh yeah, let's give it a try. Couldn't help but notice they have dang near everybody in the movie except for Steve Martin. Probably couldn't get the rights. 
ought to be cool. We're gonna go for the 20. You know my rule, I always start with just a 20. And then I bet like crazy from there. We got something. Let's go big here. Let's go big. Are you like me and you don't even know like how to read this thing? I'm not even sure what's like a winner or not. Let's do a max bet since we put 20 in. Nothing. What is this? What is this? She's having her daydream sequence, remember? Oh, this could be good. This could be good. This must be good. Eh. Considering what we've spent, not really that good, but we'll take it. I'll probably just play this till my 20 is gone. Backup singers. Yeah, the house always wins, remember? Even with all those Mr. Mushniks, the house always wins. Let's go max bet. Four hundred. Nah, nah. Actually, since we're about halfway, let's go ahead and um, go find another machine. You failed me. You failed me, Seymour. And you too, Audrey too. Looks like the guy's done working on the uh, Dean Martin machine. I kid you not, somebody walking towards me just now was a dead ringer for John Ritter so much that I almost forgot John Ritter was not alive anymore because he looked so much like him. All right, Dino, make me some money. Not fair. I'm gonna get this to go. In fact, I may eat at the bar. Kind of feeling like taking things to eat. To me, the best thing on the menu looked like the lasagna, and they said it's limited availability. So I ordered it, and I got the last piece, so we'll see how it is. So that's what you do after you lose all the money that you put into the slot machine. You go over and get yourself a uh, good meal. This is definitely not one of the bigger uh, hotel casinos that I've been to in Vegas with like just tons of stuff everywhere. But I kind of like that about it. It's um, it's not as crowded and um, it's really nice and clean. One of the things I love about it is when I was in high school, I had a job at a restaurant that used to serve their lasagna like this too in pasta rounds. And uh, I always loved that way, so I'm excited. No joking around, this thing is excellent. The marinara sauce is amazing, very homemade, and uh, everything else is excellent. I'll have one, not one complaint. He knows this uh, replica of Mouth of Truth, he knows. I think that's gonna do it for me. Holy cow, that thing was great. Woo! Is that? dish look like a coffin to you? I'm gonna go ahead and take the rest of that to go, but I did get some tiramisu because everybody was talking about how good it was in here that was sitting up here at the bar, so I'm gonna get some of that, take the rest of that back with me too. Okay, that's way bigger than I was expecting. I mean, it looks great, but just way bigger. That was really good. That was really awesome, actually. I normally don't go for tiramisu or dessert that often, but um, Katie couldn't be with me right now because it was her father's birthday and she made him tiramisu for his birthday. So she'll be joining us in a couple of days here. But uh, everybody else at the bar was talking about how good the tiramisu was here. So I was like, between those two things, I feel like I should have it today. A plus. Totally good. I loved everything about it. Price was, you know, it's casino prices, but it was great. And then I just can't get enough of this thing. <laughs> the thing that leads you over to Bizarre Meats. It keeps, I was watching it the whole time I was eating it, it's constantly changing. Sometimes it's a chandelier, sometimes it's like ice, sometimes it's coins like this, like buried treasure. And I love the Sahara logo over there. Looks great. Very casino.
There's our chandeliers. Whoa, I love it. And if you want burgers, you can get them over here. If you want street tacos, they have them over here at Uno Mas. Me, I'm heading back to the room until tonight. I'll show you a little bit of it outside tonight. Oh yeah, I don't want to forget about this place. Yeah, they have gelato. Get your drinks. Get pizza, sandwiches salads so you have some options inside here it's not all restaurants and if you're into it this is the home of magic mike also the live show must be a pink party everybody in this group is wearing pink all right i'm in the alexandria tower that was the uh did my homework that was the one that everybody would stay in that i would want to see i think the beatles actually stayed in this one there's another lounge on your way to your room if you want to stop and get a drink or hang out. Not my scene. And then when you call for your elevator, it's all full of Sahara playing cards. How cool is that? I'm on the 10th floor, all the way in the corner. With a poolside view. All right, welcome to my room. Not sure where to show you first, brag about the bathroom or brag about everything else, but they upgraded me to a suite. Look at this place. Wow. Now here's the crazy thing. <laughs> if somebody wants to, they can watch a shower. Your uh, significant other, they can watch a shower in there if they don't draw the blinds. So that was one of the unique features I've really never seen. But I really like the room. I like the style of the room. Full class. I know the Sahara has been here since the 50s, so I was hoping, even if it was out of date, that it would look good. I really am happy with my room. I'm really happy with what they gave me. I love the art on the wall. Love walking around the lobby and seeing all the historic photos. Now let's go see the bathroom. <laughs> wow, yeah, I know, I know, pretty awesome. So they separated the bathroom, which is nice. So this is all for your clothes right there. Just like you're at home. And then a sliding glass door here for when you're taking a squat. Then your bathroom is in here. Beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful. And super clean. I know that should go without saying, but I've stayed in a lot of hotels and it doesn't go without saying. Sometimes what you think will be a clean hotel is actually very grimy in the corners of everything and I checked this over pretty good, so. Very good room, there's our shower. With a peeping Tom window. <laughs> Look at the view out my window. I've got the pool. I've got the Sahara sign. I got it all. That is awesome. Good evening indeed. I tried to access that room because they you have to scan your card to get to each floor and I think that's on the very top floor because that's the only floor that my card won't work on and that's where the number leads to so. They were up on uh, 2344, and I believe that they actually moved the, some slot machines into their room for them so they could play while they were here. Well, my friends, it is a beautiful night. I hope you've enjoyed a little vacation away from your normal life and hanging out with me at the casino today. Hope you enjoyed the Sahara. Hope you kind of felt like you were a little bit back in time with all the pictures. Have a great night, everyone. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.